This latest test will have to be evaluated to see how close the North Koreans really are to developing a full-fledged missile program and nuclear weapons program. The test was confirmed by reports of an earthquake of magnitude of approximately five that corresponds to a test of a nuclear weapon that is the, in the six to seven kiloton range. For comparison, that uh, corresponds to about one third of the nuclear weapon that was dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. We don't yet know if the test was based on an HEU or highly enriched uranium weapon type or a plutonium weapon. The previous two tests were based on plutonium weapons. It makes a big difference if the bomb was plutonium or uranium. In the past, we knew that the North Koreans had a reactor that was able to produce plutonium. This is the only way to generate enough plutonium to use in a nuclear explosive is through the use of a reactor. We can send an aircraft in the atmosphere and look at the presence of trace isotopes that would provide a fingerprint of the type of weapon that was exploded. That is, uh, assuming that a little bit, a trace of these radioisotopes can escape the underground test. If it is confirmed that the bomb is, was indeed uranium-235 bomb, this is very significant because it means that North Korea has acquired the capability of enriching uranium. This capability uh, can come through a centrifuge system where uranium at lower concentrations is concentrated or enriched in the isotope uranium-235, which is the isotope that is used in the nuclear explosive. This uh, type of uh, enrichment capability can be hidden from view, for example, from satellite view, by uh, underground um, operations. The same cannot be said for a plutonium weapon. So if indeed uh, it is confirmed that the weapon is a HEU weapon, it would mean that North Korea would have a pathway to producing more and more of this material through these enrichment facilities. In the U.S., nuclear reactors and nuclear energy is about 20% of our electricity, but more importantly, it's most of our carbon-free electricity. If we lose that, we lose our carbon-free advantage.